I just happened to turn on the TV to watch a random movie in Montevideo and I saw my friend Jai in a sort of weird scene as a dealer on a film. Anyway, so I started on my walk and this guy had about 20 dogs around him, maybe 10, but that was the way he was walking and I found that very entertaining to look at. I don't know if he was a dog walker or just had a lot of dogs. This is me outside the Arturo Prat Chacon statue and for those that don't know, Arturo Prat Captain Chacon was a prominent Chilean naval officer and he played a significant role in the War of the Pacific from 1879 to 1884. There's me looking stupid. I've started walking, I think I'm on Artiga, Gral Artiga, I'm not sure. But there's people lazing out the window and homeless guys walking around trying to hustle and clean and all of that. I'm continuing along. I don't remember whether this was a building of significance or not. But I actually really like the look of it. Policlinico is if you couldn't reach the sign and then the cool format and the sort of Spanish style of houses that I really enjoyed looking at the way the vans are parked at an angle on the street made the honor this September which happens to be my friend's birthday so I took a photo of that for her and just the actions taken around this park I found it particularly interesting to look at small little private I suppose fun fair and there's a statue dedicated to Manuel Magariños Castaños, who was the founder of El Diario in Montevideo, and he's from España or Spain. Plazoleta Manuel Magariños Castaños. So we keep referring to them as statues, but they're in actual fact monuments. passing by Parque Rodo Infantil keeping going on my way looking at the sights and the random shops and the random people For some reason I thought that it was an entertaining sight to see someone going about their day and doing their job, shifting the crates filled with products and so it's like one too many photos. You can see who they were delivering for by that. Random artwork in the middle of the street. Palm trees at Parque Rodo. As you can tell, it was a very, very bad weather day. I don't know why I'm taking another photo of McDonald's Toblerone ad for the McFlurry. Maybe I'll blame the heat. And there's me telling me I'm on the right way for the Museo Casa Milamajo. And that's the view from around there, from around that area. That is Casa Milamajo. El Museo Casa Vilamajo.
Casa Villamajo is of course Julio Villamajo's house which was I think three floors in height you can see by all these photos and if you don't know who he was he was an influential architect a Uruguayan architect played a, a pretty big role in the advancement of modernist architecture and he was alongside people like uh, Carlos Surraco and Crespi they were trying to do the modernist movement in Uruguay he had his office right at the top where he was trying to as they described exude elegance through clean lines and geometric forms he's best known for Palacio Salvo the very well known landmark on Plaza Independencia and then also the Artigas uh, Mausoleum which is in the same area and it's a tribute to Jose Gervasio Artigas who of course is an Uruguayan national hero and there I go of course with the selfie shots that's me in a mirror <laughs> But I think that his place was pretty spectacular. I mean, it was it was simple, it was clean, beautiful views of Montevideo, calm space to work. But I went a bit overboard taking photos of a house. It's not like it's up for sale or something. But hopefully these shots interest you or inspire you or at least take away a little bit of your moment and entertain you. as if you're watching some sort of reality TV show for house sales the staircase without a banister partial spiral not full some cool pavement graffiti and that's us looking at the El Centro de Desarrollo de Tenis de Uruguay which was an area which I, I wanted to look around and explore because around there you have uh, the Templete del Parque Rodo you have the Rincón Infantil Enriqueta Comte y Riquet and Parque Rodo Infantil Monumento there's a lot of stuff all around there but all of it was in favour of me ending up at the National Visual Art Museum or the Museo Nacional de Artes Visuales so I'm walking around there being entertained by the different sites and rides which weren't in current action some interesting shots of the park while it's empty because everyone else had more sense than to be outside in the sun while it was that hot La Comparcita a song my mum loves In the tennis courts around there I think that was meant to be art no offence to the artist but it's visual art so you know and here's a couple of shots of the outside of the National Museum
So this is a museum, obviously, and you have lots of interesting artwork there. So if you are interested in this, then you can have a look up on Google and in other places to find out in depth the details behind each of the pieces of artwork and each of the artists. I'm not going to narrate every single one. I'm not going to tell you about all the information about every single one. It's up to you to determine if you like it and then to try and research it. But there are a lot of good pieces and I took a lot of photos of a lot of good pieces. So they're reproduced for your visual pleasure and maybe even your visual research. I love an art gallery. I love art. I won't ramble too much throughout this, so I'll just let you watch. Now after finishing looking around the gallery, I had no choice but to exit. And when I did so, I went towards uh, Parque Rodo, but not the infantil side, the child side, but the normal park, the larger park. And I saw cool cars like this, and beautiful pink trees. Well, they weren't pink trees, but trees with pink leaves that were dispersed all over like cherry blossoms that you see in Vancouver. And of course, you had to have people littering cans everywhere because it takes too much to take them somewhere. People walking with massive dogs, relaxing with massive dogs. And couples relaxing, enjoying their afternoon picnics or a drink or something like that. This is me approaching El Monumento de José Enrique Rol, which was very impressive to see. A lovely fountain, a lovely display, which I couldn't seem to take enough photos of, and also got a selfie or two in front of. Maybe three or five. I just kept hitting that. <laughs> just kept hitting that button. And why not give you a, a view of that? It's something to laugh at. But it is going on quite long. There we go. I've stopped now. There must have been some sort of event taking place here. But I was doing my own thing. Atención, graffiti. Monumento al Dr. Ricardo Vecino. Patio Andaluz. Palm tree leaves on the ground.
Now I'm walking up the Rambla Presidente Wilson because it's very important when passing by Playa Ramirez to end up at a McDonald's. Very important. And then it becomes Rambla Argentina. going along the very hot street. I think it was about 40 degrees out there. Heladeria. The entrance to McDonald's, of course. And then a McDonald's, which was extremely impressive. Busy, big, and formidable. That's the view inside of McDonald's looking out. That's not bad. Although I did see better views. And then that's where you pick up your food, order it off the machines, pretty nice and simple, straightforward model. That was the disappointing McFlurry Toblerone. And then I went out and ended up seeing that there were all these attractions, like a, an amusement park there with 12D cinema, but it wasn't open. The park wasn't running. But it was a pretty enigmatic place could see a lot of horror films and other things being placed there. The roots of a growing palm tree, well, a growing palm tree. I'm back in a very tropical looking area of Parque José Enrique Rodo. Just walking towards a bus stop. But look at how gorgeous that is. Look at how green and lush that looks. Swamp-like is the appearance, but it really didn't seem that way at all. Just beautiful leaves and green water. And just walking through there was a joy. But I did what I did at every point in my trip, which was you go to McDonald's for your Wi-Fi. You pick up a coffee, you pick up a bite to eat or something, but you utilize the free Wi-Fi to recalibrate to recalibrate your Google Maps, know where you're going. And I knew at this point I was gonna head back to my area. Which would have been the after hotel on Arturo Prat. Can't help but be hypnotized by some of these images though. Waiting at the bus stop. Nothing better to do than just photograph everything in front of you. Because every frame has its own story. The World Trade Center building and of course the assortment of pastries that they had over in Tienda Iglesias. Johnny Walker, we've already spoken about that. Some pomelo. I think I got, what did I get? I got a piece of chicken or something. I can't remember exactly. An interesting flower display with the pot knocked over. And that was deliberate. That was how it was formed. That was the way they wanted it to appear. Rambla, Armenia. And Playa Balbuceo. Right now I'm walking towards the aduana, which of course at that point was closed for tourists. Well, closed to the general public.
The reason I wanted to go there was it was the Aduana Oribe, which is the Museo del Arma de Ingenieros, or the Arms Engineer Museum, or the Museum of the Weapon of the Engineers, or Museum of Weapon of Engineers, basically an arms museum. So after walking there and disappointedly finding out that it was closed, I did what anyone would do. Which is walk around and examine and think. No. Which is to simply continue on to the water side. Let's see what you do. Bearing in mind I had stickers on me, I did what I had to do, which was to find some rocks. I put some stickers on some rocks and I looked out into the general public. Of which there were very few. But that really didn't matter to me with there being very few. I was quite content to be by myself. Staring out while enduring the heat. I'm taking a little bit more of the afternoon in before going, yeah, no, maybe it's time to apply some aloe vera gel and prepare for tomorrow. Before going back to the hotel and enjoying some matutina, some Dr. Lemon Gin and Tonic, finishing my evening.